Hey guys, this is Paul from Smart Easy DIY. Welcome to the next episode of Building My Pole Barn House. Today I'm going to be putting on the nailers on the outside for the siding, and then I'm going to be putting the Tyvek house wrap on. So enjoy the video. Alright guys, so now that the walls are all framed up, I'm putting 2x4 nailers on the outside for the siding to attach to. So I put this on then to the house wrap, and then I got to do the soffit and fascia and stuff, and then I got to do the siding. But I wanted to show you here what I'm doing, and I wanted to share a quick tip with you on how I'm doing this. You want to space them evenly, and they're roughly around two foot, but I had to figure it out so they came out just right. So this is an example of what I had to do. I had to frame around the window like that with two by fours, and then run my other ones against it. And I'll show you how I fastened those ones too. But basically, I wanted to figure out so my two by fours came up right on top of the window like that, and that gave me my spacing for one thing on my 2x4s, it just came out really well. So what I wanted to show you is I made these blocks for spacing the 2x4s, it works really nice. I just stick a nail in it and then pound it in and then it works really nice for spacing my 2x4s here. Got one over there on that end and one over here on this end. So I'm putting these 2 bys in between the windows right now. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so for an example here where we're running into a window here, what I do is I put a block in the inside, like this. I just did a 2x4 block, and it catches the ends of those. Because you can toe nail them into the side of the window 2x4 here, but you can also nail it in this way, that way, into something solid. So that's what the block looks like from the inside. Just enough to catch those two runs there like that. Alright guys, I wanted to shoot a video before it gets too dark here, and I wanted to show you what I ended up doing. So you might wonder why I have nailers so close together. They're actually one foot spacing. Remember in my previous video that I had just done, I had done the nailers two foot spacing, or I kind of showed you how I did it with the blocks and stuff. Well, what happened is the siding that I'm using, I decided it's not really strong enough to have that much spacing if I'm going to spray foam and all that right up against it, against the house wrap. So I decided to close in the gaps. I ripped two by fours in half and put them in between all those. The other thing I wanted to show you is I did permanent braces in the walls here. I just wanted to show you those really quick. What I did is just ran 45 degrees. 45 degrees is the best brace you can do as far as bracing. So I just did it right on the wall there permanently. So yeah, here it just shows another brace that I did on the end there. So on that end I did one. Over here I did one. I did one on all the walls. I kind of did it against a prevailing wind. So you want to think about that maybe. Which direction your weather comes out of. Also I wanted to show you how I ended up framing around the door here because of doing it the way I'm doing it with no sheeting or with doing the nailers on the outside like that. I did treat it for the first foot down there just as extra precaution to keep it up away from the bottom. And then I ended up using a full 2x6 around the doors just to give extra room for fastening the J channel and stuff because I'm going to have brick molding on the door. So I just wanted to show you that. Everything otherwise gets 2x4s like around the windows and stuff there. Oh hey guys, this is how you cut Tyvek out of a window. Leave like 6 inches or so, slip the corners at a 45, and just bring them around in. Make sure this is free of dirt and stuff. And if you're a little short, you can do this. Okay, so since my side walls are 10 foot, the Tyvek comes in 9 foot rolls typically. Any house wrap typically does. So I got a little strip I gotta do up there and you can see up in the gable ends, I still gotta put some in. Okay, so then for your gable ends, what I do is just roll it out. Say if my building is 36 feet wide, I go like 20 feet or so just to give me a little extra. And then I go from one corner to the other corner, just like that, snap a chalk line and you cut it. Then you use one side for one side of the gable and the other side for the other side of the gable. It'll overlap a little bit since my peak is only like six or seven feet left and my roll is nine feet at the tallest part. Yeah, like I said, I just used a chalk line and made a line across there from one corner to the other. Now this one, if you want your riding right, at least on one side, if you want it up and down, not that it matters, I'm just particular about that. 
it's going to be upside down on one end, but I can't do anything about that if I want to save house wrap. So since my line went across diagonally that way last time, I did it cross diagonally this time, that way the writing is correct at least on one side like I said. One end I should say. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one coming out in a little while here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts were. Thanks for watching.